Good morning! Welcome to another episode of Jake's Bounty. That's right. Hey, it's a throwback Thursday. It's September the 23rd. Well, actually, it's September the 22nd. Fucked up. All right, let's go ahead and do it. All right, well, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez. I'm having a little trouble with my camera today because I accidentally broke my tripod. Not my penis, no, but my actual tripod for uh, my camera. See, it's broken off here. And, uh, well, now that's useless, but, hey, I got a year or more out of it, so I guess, I, you know, it paid for itself and then some. Um... So right now, and for a couple more shows, I'll probably do them like this, where I have it propped up against my TV like I did back in the old days until I get something new. Um, just want to go ahead and thank the music today provided by, uh, that was Anticon Beats, again. Um, they had some stuff I really liked, and my tape player wasn't working again, so I was like, all right, two for two. So <laughs> here we go. Thank you, Anticon Beats. Also want to thank um, Dog Training for Dummies. You get that five nine nine one type of word dummy and the retro challenges puzzles, trivia challenges puzzles game uh, book and all that for the seventies and eighties. That's also five nine nine when you type in the word retro. All right, go to my website and do that. And also we've got bad boys one and two over here at Ray's video, and it is just one dollar and seven day rental. All right, I want to go ahead and thank you guys. For more views and more subscribers, I'm up to 63 subscribers now, um, and to me that's a lot. And I want to keep going, and when I get to 100, so I can give myself a cardboard plaque, a uh, YouTube cardboard plaque that I made myself. Damn it, I can give it to myself anytime, but it'll mean more when it's 100 subscribers. <laughs> um, just want to go ahead and get into the news. Then let's do it. All right. Um, Sex predator victim's mother uh, headed to prison, that's right, uh, for child abuse. Uh, Brent Cox, his wife, Jillian Cox, and uh, their girlfriend, Tammy Schreiner, uh, and the 11-year-old daughter who they tried to get into this. Um, there was back in 2020 uh, when they were uh, got caught for this. And back just in August of 2022, uh, Brent uh, Cox admitted to four felonies and is going to get 16 years, while uh, Shiner is going to get four plus years, and Jillian Cox uh, is only going to get one year. All right. Man in critical condition in southeast Fresno. This happened on Maple and Florence Avenue, 2 p.m. in Wednesday. Uh, yeah, so a man in his 20s uh, was seen before the gunfire actually started going off. Um, we, uh, the police are reaching out to victims right now and asking for surveillance or cameras or anything and help that they can provide. All right. Employees strike due to, not due to, but due to poor working conditions at Fresno Sunnyside Convalescent Hospital. All right. They said uh, there's going to be staff one day walk out. Uh, dozens of workers actually participated in it. The hospital is located at Peach Avenue near North Avenue. They say low staffing is part of the problem, but also bounce paychecks is another part. Well, shit, if my paycheck bounced, I'd be out of there. See ya. And they say um, there's not a new contract made up in the next 10 business days. They will st uh, they will strike indefinitely starting October 6th. Mm. So they mean it. All right. And, uh, they say also that the uh, conditions over there for the people that live over the convalescent hospital is not very good either, uh, mostly because of low staffing. And if you're not getting paid, you're not going to work very hard either. I mean, I wouldn't, you know. And um, so I'm thinking that has something to do with it. But then they said low staffing. They actually said 75% 70, less staffing than they had last year. You think they would have more staffing this year than compared to last year. But actually, it's the other way around. So... Things are falling behind, all right? And finally, crews are working uh, to get a fire under control over at Central Valley Teen Challenge. Uh, they do not know what sparked the fire. It's on one of the structures in the very back, so actually it's not uh, going to hurt any of the other structures uh, close to the uh, Valley Teen Challenge. It's just like one structure way over here, 
you can't see my hand, but way over here. <laughs> and then, like, Save Valley Teen over here. So it's, like, way over there and shit. So nothing got harmed. No uh, firefighters were harmed or anything like that. They said 150 residents uh, ended up going to the Valley Teen Challenge Program. And before that, it used to be a mental health facility. And this is in Reedley. All right. I've passed by it a couple times myself. And uh, it's also going to be the topic of uh, Throwback Thursday today. Not the fact that I went to Valley Teen Challenge or anything, no. But back when it, when, when it was a uh, mental health facility. And, and I'll tell you about when I went to a uh, mental health facility. Not that one, but a different one. All right. Um, today, like I said, is Thursday. And uh, I want to go and tell you about my cans that I did get. At first, it didn't start off very well. I was only getting maybe like, you know, a can here, a can there and shit. And it looked like I didn't even have half a bag and shit. And then um, I started getting luckier at this uh, church. Uh, it's over here by uh, my house where I live. And um, I was able to get some there. I guess they had some because they're doing some construction. So they had some water bottles. They had some Coca-Cola uh, cans. And uh, I think they even had some beer. I was like, oh, well, I guess we can get away with it, you know. I mean, you're just working here. It's not like you're actually like, love God, you know. Um, but then uh, I also want to uh, say I got some over behind somebody's uh, dumpster. Uh, they just have, like, water bottles. I still got to empty them out. But other than that, you know, I did pretty well. Got a full bag. Um, so, like I said, I got to empty that out. Did I find anything on my excursion? I did. I don't think I have it right here with me, but I found a uh, brown Sharpie. Yeah, you don't get those very often. I usually get the black ones or the red ones, sometimes green, but never brown. And, uh, so uh, if I find it, I'll let you guys see it, all right? Uh, I'm talking about the Sharpie, not something else. Anyway, um, now let's go ahead and get to that topic about when I was at a mental health facility. Uh, it wasn't so long ago, actually. Basically, about three and a half years ago, I was at a mental health facility because I went, woo -hoo, and, uh, you know, I went 50, 150 myself, and um, couldn't, you know, couldn't deal with it anymore. I wanted to injure myself, others, and, you know, so I basically told my mom, hey, call the cops. She did. There's a whole thing leading up to it, but... I don't have time to get into it. I just want to tell you about the time I spent at a mental health facility. And uh, this one person over at a mental health facility named Barbara, she was about, like, uh, I think maybe 65, but she could have easily pulled, like, looking for 80 and shit, you know, had a hard life, basically. And um, she had been there for over 100 days. Now, you usually don't stay in an outpatient mental health facility, uh, you know, for that long you usually stay for just like a couple weeks maybe a couple months the most is actually what she was doing which was like 100 days and she just wasn't getting any better she'd have like maybe a few hours where she'd be good and then she'd just pop out the handle and be like you raped your daughter i heard you i told you i'm not gonna respect that and she just started going off the handle she went the handle off me and started saying something to the similar effect that he raped his daughter. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even have a daughter. And why would I rape her if I had one? You know, and she's done this to very many other uh, people at the facility as well. So I wasn't the only one that she attacked. You know, and I was nice to her. Uh, very cordial and always wanted to, you know, ask her how she was doing and try to go out of my way to be nice to her. And then she goes and do that. But anyway, um, yeah, a mental health facility in Fresno. There's not that many of them, so you can probably be like, oh, it was that one. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one it was, but uh, I was there for two weeks, and it uh, seemed a lot longer, and it was a lot worse than jail. <laughs> um, just, yeah, mental health facilities, uh, if you can get a good one, good for you. The one I got was so-so. Uh, good with therapy. We did therapy all the time uh did just you know group therapy and then one-on-one -on -one, and then we'd also uh talk to a doctor later on just to see how we're doing you know in that kind of aspect uh so it was very good in that aspect and uh, i wanted to get out so uh anything i could do to you know 
get myself out of that place sooner. I did, you know, I'd eat my food, I'd participate, um, I'd go to, the, you know, to the gym when it was time to go to the gym, when it was time to do arts and crafts, I did arts and crafts, even though my art and craft looked like shit, I did it. Um, yeah, so I got out of there after two weeks, um, and just one incident, like I said, was Barbara and her being like, you raped her kid, and like I said, I don't have a kid, and, uh, you know, if I did, I would never rape them. All right. Um, but I want to tell you more stories about mental health. And uh, I assume I will. You know, I just have to remember all of them and shit. They're all right here. I just got to be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. All right. So um, if you guys are interested more in that, uh, let me know in the comments below. I have a few more stories, but I just don't want to keep on rambling and going for hours and shit. Um, talk to you about tomorrow. We'll have Unfamiliar Fridays. We'll talk about a band that's unfamiliar to you, maybe. Also have the news, my bounty, uh, so much more. Uh, we'll also uh, maybe have something from uh, the book Retro Challenges, Puzzles, and Trivia for the 70s and 80s. It's been a while, so uh, maybe we should do that tomorrow. Also, I have um, Dog Training for Dummies over here at Jake's Bounty Still, 599. I'm going to type in the word dummy. So go ahead and do that, all right? And um, also I want to let you know more about Anticon Beats. Go look them up on YouTube and um, on their website. Got a whole bunch of videos. Usually they post one, two a day. Uh, excuse me. And usually they're all pretty good. And that includes this one right here that we're going to showcase for you. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll have another short up today. Thanks again for the subscribes and for the views. All right. You guys have a good day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. See ya. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Point Get Yourself Record Production 2022. Follow us on the channel, website, and you might leave a comment. As always, please subscribe.